Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be trying out a brand new product from Iconic Lemon. I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but at nighttime I am so bad about scrolling through on Instagram. I'll have like my head hidden from Puffin so that the light from my phone does not wake him or disturb him. And I will be going scrolling through and just seeing what I can find, you know, looking at things. And I ran across this and I purchased it immediately. I think I do the majority of my shopping at night underneath my covers. I'm not even kidding. It's not an exaggeration. It's probably a problem. <laughs> but I came across this. This is the Iconic London the Brow Silk Kit. And I was like, huh, that kind of reminds me of like the whole soap trick that everybody was doing. And this is what it's actually inspired off of. So I decided to grab it. I have tested this out over two days. And then I have it on right now. I'm going to show you guys the demo and all that. But before we do, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the details. So first off, this is what we are looking at. We have here this <laughs> little brush that looks like a toothbrush, as well as this right here. You open it up and you have a waxy type of texture something in here. I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to leave the ingredients down below so that you guys can see it, but it feels waxy, but then when you put it in your hands, there's definitely, like it doesn't grip real hard. It's not like your fingers get stuck or anything like that. You have a nice little mirror in here. It's compact. If you wanted to travel with this, you definitely could. On the Iconic London website, the description is rather long, so I am not going to bore you with the entire thing, but I do want to read just a few pieces from it. It reads, frame your features with super speedy brow silk. Inspired by the old Hollywood trick of using soap to set brows in place, our customizable brow styler adapts to the look you love from fluffy and feathered to groomed and sleek. Creating a clear film over your brows, it gives unbeatable lift and hold with zero chalky residue or crunchiness. Gripping every single hair, brow silk boosts sparse patches and makes arches appear thicker to save precious brow filling in time. This product is also 100% vegan and cruelty free. Now let's go ahead and get into the demo. To start off with, I have nothing in my brows. I have only just kind of groomed them upwards, but there's nothing in them. I'm gonna start off with their brush, using it wet, and the product. Here's what the brush looks like. It looks like a little toothbrush. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get this wet, and now I'm going to kind of like work it into the product. And then you can see on the end that I have product there. Now, okay, so I've tried this before, so I'm a little scared. I am gonna start off by going down, because I always coat both sides of my hairs. I do have rather thicker kind of brows, so I make to make I like to make sure that I get both sides. I'm starting off that way, and then I'm going to push upwards. And as you can see, it definitely grooms the brow. My biggest problem with this is that it is flat, and I wish I could get a little bit better. I can take my spoolie though. It will lay your brow hairs flat to your skin and I don't particularly like that so this is what it looks like using their brush and using it wet now this is one thing I have not tried I yesterday I couldn't stand these being like stuck to my face so I just took my spoolie and you can spoolie these out and it will lift them off of your face however it doesn't last as long so what I'm going to do is take this dry spoolie and I'm going to go on the outside of the product right here. I'm just kind of rubbing and twisting the spoolie at the same time because it says that you can use this dry. And I wanted to see what it looked like with just the spoolie. So I'm going to do that on this side. I'm going to go down first. and then upward and this is typically how I would do my brows with my brow gel see to me this looks so much better can you see how this is like almost like you took glue and just glued your brows to your face I like this method 
much better. It, it creates more of a feathery type of finish. Now I like to go in and clean up underneath the brow while I let that dry. So I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and my refer brush and I'm just gonna go right underneath. Now I like to go in with the brow pencil. I do this because I want to fill in where I need to. I don't want to go and fill in first and then overfill and have deeper, more dramatic brows than I want. So I do it afterwards. I'm using the Balm Ferocious Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Light Brown. And I basically just go only in the areas that I feel necessary. So definitely here at the front. And I'm going upwards because that's the way my hairs grow right here oh and <laughs> it's the way that they're pushed up too and then i'm going to fill in the sides i'm going to do the rest of this off camera because you, mean, you guys have seen everything and if you want to see like my full-on brow tutorial i will have that linked down below i'm going to finish off both of my brows so i can see up close and then we will determine which side we like better. And then this is the finished result. Now let's talk about the claims and how I feel about the brow products. So the first thing I want to talk about is the claim of longevity. Now it says that you can create either a fluffy brow or a very sleek brow. When I first did this one, you could see that it was like stuck to my face. It was sleek. It was it was there and I know a lot of people like that kind of look and I feel like you can actually achieve that a little bit better with soap because I feel like soap actually ends up lasting longer than this does. I have had to reapply, not reapply, but re-push down this side and re-push up this side. And I already feel like I could go back and push this side up again. You see that? You see that? And I could do the same thing here. Whereas with my Benefit Brow Setter, once I put this in, it doesn't move. And yeah, it might be a little crunchy to the touch, but I would rather have crunchy to the touch rather than having to mess with my brows because I don't like for them to start falling. I have a lot of brow, so they can be heavy and they can start doing all kinds of things on their own. So this, for my brow hair type, it does not last. It's almost like it's heavy and it starts to weigh down my brows like a mascara would your lashes. So for me, this is definitely the better option. I mean, no one's touching my brows anyway. I don't let anybody touch my face. You're not gonna be touching my brows either. So this definitely wins in that category. Also, you have to kind of consider, you know, having to clean off the brush and this and that, and whatever. This is just so much easier. You open it up, and you have this amazing brush. You have a longer bristle on this side, it's like a plastic, it's not a spoolie at all, and then a shorter one over here. This gets right in between your brows hairs, makes them perfect. I mean, look at that. It just grooms them effortlessly, and this truly does hold. So I was disappointed in the hold time for this. Along with that, it kind of reacts with my primer. I don't know if you guys could see that on camera, but I definitely saw it close up in the mirror, like right at the edge right here. I guess because this is a waxy type of formula, my brow, my brow, <laughs> it's all about brow, my eye primer reacted very strangely. I had to go in with my finger and kind of tap it out before I applied my shadows. So that's frustrating as well. But overall, I mean, I think it's a good product if you want something that is going to create some kind of fullness. It definitely does do that. I do agree that my actual brow hairs just seem to look a little bit fuller and without adding color because I don't like to add color to my brows because then they just look like brows coming at you. So that's really nice about it. But honestly, that's the only thing that I like. I would say that if you want that type of almost plaster tree. I don't like that look. I'm, I personally don't like that really sleek, stuck to your face brow. Even with this one here, I will get the structure that I want, but when I am moving around, you can see the curvature of my brow hair, so it's not stuck to my face. If you like that, a toothbrush works and soap. Just go in with that, and I feel like it lasts 
longer as well because I've tried it once or twice just kind of goofing off but overall I mean this is a no-brainer for me so I mean it was fun to try out something new but it's not something that I am going to suggest it was just uh, it was fun it's fun to play but overall and me I don't like it <laughs> sorry all right you guys I hope you enjoyed this little try on session and review let me know what you think and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys